click the link in the description of the video and download all of the files. You may get a warning saying that the connection isn't private, but the reason is I'm hosting it on my own server. This is fine. Click download all files in the corner of the screen. Unzip all of the files. Now we can install VMware 16. Next, click on the unzipped folder and go to the VMware Unlocker folder. Right click on the winInstall.cmd and click Run as Administrator. Open VMware 16. You can store the virtual machine in any location. Make sure you remember that location and that the location has at least 80 gigabytes. You can customize the amount of RAM and CPU cores the VM uses. Right click on the .vmx file and open with notepad. Copying the correct code for your CPU brand is very important. Now click play the virtual machine. Choose the disk at the top of the internal disk list. Format it as APFS and GUID partition map, then name it anything you like. Click the X in the corner to return to the main menu.
The installation can take one to two hours. Once this is installed, you can set it up as you would a normal Mac, but do not log into your Apple ID. Double click the VMware Tools disk. When you get this pop-up, click Open Security Preferences. If the pop-up comes up again, just click OK. Then click the lock and enter your password. Then click Allow. Then click Not Now. Go back to the installation screen of VMware Tools and click Restart.